Plate Motion Unit, Lesson 4.1, Plate Motion near Jalisco, Mexico. Activity 2, Introducing the Jalisco Block. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson, and here's what the second screen from your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. As you know, geologists use the patterns they observe in the geosphere to try to explain geologic mysteries on Earth. In the next few lessons, we'll use what we know about plate motion to determine what's happening in the Jalisco Block, a section of the North American plate. Students, let's read the message from Dr. Moraga. Thank you so much for all your help with our Mesosaurus exhibit. I've submitted your work to our museum's exhibit builders, and they are getting started building and painting a display that tells the Mesosaurus story. You've done a great job helping us communicate how the Mesosaurus fossils got so far apart. I just got an email from a colleague who lives in Guadalajara, a city in Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco is a state located in the North American plate. This is an interesting area to geologists because it's near many plate boundaries. Many people live in this area of Mexico. I told my colleague about your great work for us here at the Museum of West Namibia, and she wants your help to explain the geologic activity in the area to local residents. Geologists can't agree on how plates are moving in this area. The data they've collected doesn't point to one clear explanation. We need your help considering the evidence about plate motion in the area. Scientists are particularly interested in this area because there are so many plate boundaries there. The Jalisco block is a small section of the North American plate. Based on the evidence you'll consider in this chapter, you'll learn why scientists do not agree on what is happening with the movement of the Jalisco block. What is the Jalisco block? In geology, a block is a small section of a larger plate. The Jalisco block, named for the state of Jalisco, Mexico, is part of the North American plate. The Jalisco block is located in an area where many plates meet. The Jalisco block is near the boundary with the Pacific plate, the Cocos plate, and a tiny plate that isn't marked on many plate maps, the Rivera plate. Geologic activity on the Jalisco block. The Jalisco block has had significant volcanic activity and earthquakes in the recent geologic past. What patterns do you notice? Note the linear patterns of earthquakes and volcanoes, which are often associated with plate motion. Evidence of plate motion. One way to determine how plates are moving is by taking measurements using GPS receivers. However, the measurements taken in this area reveal that the Jalisco block is moving very slowly just a few millimeters per year. The GPS data isn't precise enough to figure out the exact rate and direction of the movement of the Jalisco block. The GPS data is inconclusive as to how the Jalisco block is moving. Because of this, many scientists have gathered data and other information about this area to try to figure out what is happening there. For the science seminar, we will discuss the chapter four question. What best explains the patterns of volcanic activity and earthquakes on the Jalisco block? Claim 1. Convergent movement between the Jalisco block and the Rivera plate best explains the pattern of volcanic activity and earthquakes on the Jalisco block. Claim 2. Divergent movement of the Jalisco block away from the North American plate best explains the pattern of volcanic activity and earthquakes on the Jalisco block. These are authentic claims that are to explain something that is unknown. These claims are currently being debated by geologists in the scientific community. The science seminar question and claims closely relate to the key concepts about the rate of plate motion that we posed in Chapter 3. Earth's plates travel at a rate too slow to be experienced by humans. It takes a long time for Earth's plates to travel great distances. During the science seminar, be sure to focus on how the Jalisco block is moving. The Jalisco block is moving at such a slow rate, it's difficult to determine the direction of its movement. End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work and amplify for this activity before moving on.